Hey, I think we're uh, I think we're here. I think we're live. And um, because of you know scheduling technical issues, uh, right on time, right on time. Nothing that I uh, had a countdown timer and didn't get to use it. So which which way am I? I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Hello. Welcome. How are you doing today? Um, yeah, started again on uh, like 6 a.m. counseling appointments now that I'm back out of my kind of crazy summer schedule and back into something a little bit more uh, reasonable. Um, it's funny, I don't know why, like, why I started doing that like so early in the morning on a Friday. But now I do, and I kind of like it. And uh, when I had the chance to redo it, I just said, let it ride. We're gonna keep going. Keep on the 6 a.m. thing. Which means I have to wake up at 5.20 to get to where I'm going. And so this morning I woke up at like 4.30. And it was like, whatever, I guess I'm up now. Byron, what's up? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you, hello, hello, hello. Um, glad you're here. Um, okay, so enough about uh, me and uh, my, why I wake up so early to see a therapist on Fridays. But today we're gonna talk about uh, Tailwind. And specifically, Tailwind has these uh, cool templates that are super fun to play with. Now I did kind of explore this idea uh, maybe like a month and a half ago, I was just kind of, it, it was the day that they were announced. I had a little bit of time and so I built up a little repository, um, seeing how far I could take the this transmit template um, for reactpodcast.com, uh, which has always had a terrible site. And uh, if you decide to use Simplecast, which I would probably discourage at this point as someone who's used Simplecast for uh, four years now, um, I wouldn't recommend it, first of all. If you do decide to use it anyway, um, the default templates are actively terrible. Um, check this out. I just wanna show you one of the problems. So if I go to episode one, two, three, right? Um, it will show me that episode. But then if I go back, 404. So it's delivering a 404 and then just building a JavaScript page on top of that. And if um, if you intentionally designed a bad SEO practice, this would be one of the, probably the main tactic that you would employ. This is, this is how you would do it. Uh, real bad, real bad. Elliot, what's up? Hey! Good to see you. Uh, Elliot's my cousin. How's it going? Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Good to see you on here. Uh, just doing some silly code stuff. Uh, yeah, cool, cool. Um, nice, nice, nice. Oh, you're at the airport, Byron? Where are you headed? Okay, cool. Um, I will I'll get back to that there. Look. There's Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Good to see ya. Um, okay, so today, um, so I, I have, uh, if I have a very short-term memory, and so I have completely forgotten all of the things that actually made this good, uh, and how I used it and whatnot. So I don't remember where I put that repository. So I might, if I get into a bind, uh, reference it. Might not. Um, but my goal today is just to get something working with this, and along the way identify some things that may, may or may not be useful to you if you're doing the same thing, if you wanna make a podcast website. Wasim, how's it going? Good to see you. Put you up there for a second. Hello, glad you're here. Um, yeah, so let's dive into this thing. Should be fun. Uh, let's get started. So there are, you know, if we go to, oops, sorry, I'm gonna go all the way back out. So we're just gonna to go to Tailwind UI. Uh, dot com. They have a bunch of stuff, components, documentation. Uh, I have a license to this, which provides me access to both uh, Tailwind UI and the templates. So you will need that if you, uh, um, and I guess you saw my email if you need that. Uh, so 
in this, there's this new template section and they have these uh, full on pages that are built with Tailwind uh, UI and Tailwind components um, for various purposes. So we have um, this uh, salient, which is a SaaS marketing template. We have transmit, which is a podcasting template. We have uh, syntax, which is a documentation template, keynote for a conference template, and oh, two more now. Primer um, if for an info product um, and app marketing template is called Pocket. So all of these are super useful if you have, I mean, if you're trying to sell something or market something on the web. And uh, I am trying to do a number of those things. So I, I think starting from a template is a really great place. These, these guys are incredible. They do some incredible design work. And so uh, super cool. Now, um, a bunch of stuff here. So I have a license. We can look at the demo. Let's look at the live demo real quick. So uh, what we have is, let's check out the responsiveness. Cool. So we have a responsive site out of the box. Um, so it goes down to a mobile view, which kind of collapses this side panel. Some information about the show, subscribe links, super important um, information about hosts. And then how does this work? So if I click on that, cool. So it keeps the sidebar context um, available and um, just puts you into a detailed view. So this is, I mean, legit everything that I would need for a podcast. So in terms of using it, we have um, both a React and a Next starter, it looks, or maybe these are, maybe these are implying the same thing that it's Next built in React possibly redundant, but there's only one download button. So it must be that, right? Oh, Scrimba's streaming on Tailwind, nice. <laughs> let's see, so how, uh, let's see. So Wasim has a question. Um, how are templates protected from pr uh, piracy? Templates code can be shared, right? Uh, yeah, I think that um, it's, yeah. I mean, effectively, yes, the, but the license is for the use of that thing. So if you're using it without a license, then you are uh, using it illegally and um, you could face ramifications for that. But yeah, in terms of the, like the code itself, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm probably gonna put this on, on a GitHub repository that is public and someone could theoretically fork it and do all that kind of stuff, but they also need a license to run their site using it. So that's that's the, yeah, you can get away with it. Is it still wrong? Yeah. All right, so let's download this and see what happens. So this is gonna come into my download folder um, and that is off screen, but we will pull it over, I have a bunch of random stuff in there, but uh, we get this, uh, it expands into this Tailwind Transmit directory. So we have in here all of the source uh, files. So this is interesting. So instead of, I think a lot of projects these days will have some kind of like boilerplate or starter or something like that that you can clone. Um, and this kind of avoids that whole Git thing altogether. It just downloads a zip and you open it up. Um, which is interesting. I mean, I guess we're just gonna throw it into Git anyway, but it is kind of nice, I guess, if you're not really uh, familiar with Git, um, it's nice to just have a download button actually, which is kind of cool. Uh, so let's put this somewhere. I'm gonna open up uh, code, Chantastic. What do we have in here? Okay. Okay, so I think that I'm gonna, uh, move the React podcast that I have in here. I think that that's probably the last time that I ran this. So that might provide like a reference. It, what is it? Is it move? And then I can never remember. I think it's like move. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna open this directory. Hilariously, everything keeps opening in another window. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna drag this over into the directory that I wanted in. Done with downloads for now. 
And we're going to rename this reactpodcast.com. Okay. CD into our new directory, podcast.com. Open that up. Now, at this point, uh, so we're going to open that up and then see, I assume that there's going to be some instructions in there uh, to, to tell us how to run this next step. I know how to run a next step, but um, I'd like to see some instructions on how to get started inside of this project. Um, so, read me. So, I'll zoom that up a little bit. So transmit is Tailwind uh, UI site template built using Tailwind CS and XJS. Okay, um, to get started with this template, first install an npm dependencies. We can do that. Next, run the development server. Um, one issue. So let's run that again. Audit fix force. That'll get all the latest versions of all the sub dependencies, and then we will run npm run dev. All right, I think we're good. So we can go back to our browser. It's telling us uh, port 3000. Perfect. See some activity, cool. Okay, so this is exactly what we saw over here in the live preview. Um, it's just now localized. We have the whole thing uh, for ourselves. Um, let's see. Yeah, so uh, we see, are there open source templates uh, for like podcasts or info sites that you really like? Um, very curious about that because yeah, I think that there's a lot of cool stuff happening, not just uh, locally with Tailwind, but um, also in the community. I'd love to know, love to hear if there are some other ones that, are, that you really like. All right, so we've got the dev server running. Uh, finally open localhost 3000, which we did. Um, did. Uh, you can start edit editing this template by modifying uh, files in the source folder. This site will auto update as you update these theme files. Okay, cool. Uh, the site, okay, cool. So this site uh, template is a commercial license uh, product and is licensed under Tailwind UI license. Okay, so there's the, there's the thing saying that gotta have a license, gotta have a license. Um, didn't mean to make any changes. Okay, so how is this thing uh, organized? So there's a lot of configuration file, cool, cool, cool. They directed us immediately to the source folder. Um, which uh, makes a lot of sense. Everything else here is config or uh, caching of some sort. One thing that I am noticing, so this git ignore, it doesn't seem to be ignoring my node modules for some reason. Oh, because I don't have git yet. So if I want that to be ignored, I think I need to add git. Um, we'll just run git in it. Yep, there we go, cool. So now, that we have Git running, uh, or now that we have Git in this folder, um, it will now disregard or kind of hide, in a sense, uh, these files that are listed in the Git ignore. Cool, cool. Um, I think we're good. Cool, so now we can get to the, the customization of this thing. Um, and I guess we can just start from top to bottom. I guess. Um, so first things first, I think we're gonna need the feed. Um, so I wanna see how this is, uh, let me add a notes file. Okay, so, so the first question I have is how is data being added to this thing? Do they have some kind of local data? Um, is it using some kind of feed XML? Can I just swap that out with my own feed and have all, the whole view update? How much of it is dynamic, etc.? cetera? So uh, that's question number one. Um, let's just dive into that right now. I'm just gonna do a search for like feed.xml. Um, okay, so that didn't work. Maybe there's another RSS 
index.jsx has, okay, cool. Their side feed Vercel app. Okay, cool, perfect. This is exactly what I need. Um, perfect. Ha <laughs> ha! What's up, Adam? Good to see you. <laughs> Adam, the brilliant mind behind all of this. Uh, <laughs> so far, so good, man. Everything's awesome. Glad you're here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. You're, you're going to see how sloppy I am at all this kind of stuff too. So uh, if you want to see how like a real, like I have incredibly bad luck with all this stuff. So if something bad was going to happen, it's probably going to happen to me. So I'll, I'll be your worst case scenario here. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So I found a feed, um, which was helpful. So we have um, this uh, right here. So I guess I just need to find the React podcast feed. Um, I haven't had to pull that up in a while. Uh, listen, subscribe, uh, feed RSS, search. Let's do this. Uh, that didn't work. Maybe I can copy the link. Copy link in new tab. No, I just need to copy the link. Oh my gosh, such a, such an idiot. Um, copy link. Okay, so did that copy the right thing? Yes, cool. So. I'm gonna take this and which view are we looking at? So we're using, so this is pages index.js. So that should be the page that we're on. So even if other pages are using, kind of recreating this, I should theoretically be getting closer to a change here. Let's save that. Okay, so this is my feed um, and then what, Okay, so I reloaded and it explodes, which feels fine. Um, I would not have expected it to work right away. I feel like I'm gonna need to see my RSS feed to determine some of this stuff. So um, I don't know if there's a better way to do this, totally open to suggestion, but I typically just open up Firefox um, because it'll just I can paste this URL in and it'll start parsing it for me. Um, unlike Safari, which will try to kick me out to uh, the uh, podcast uh, podcast app or whatever. Okay, so what does the shape of this uh, data look like? So it's get static props, uh, props, episode, feed, items, map, ID, title, description, enclosure, published. Okay, so I need to make sure that all of these are somehow represented in the data, this data that I'm getting from Simplecast. Um, okay, so which, so we have an item here, which has a title, cool, it has a description, sick, uh, enclosure, Okay, yep, we have an enclosure as well with a couple of attributes on there, length, type, and URL, perfect. Um, let's see, it doesn't, enclosure URL and type. Okay, so we're using URL and type. Um, those are available, published. Um, okay, so I have pub date. Looks like that's what I have. So published, um, I'm not sure there's a way to determine any. Okay. Um, yo, Demetrius, what's up, friend? Good to see you. Pff, Alex, and we got some superheroes right here. Good to see you all. Time to have my car pulled. <laughs> Look at these champions in here. I love you guys. You're the best. You're the best. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Are you gonna use you gonna use Tailwind Transport for your next podcast? You should. So far, it's dope. I haven't had any problems yet. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, what are we missing here? Uh, well, I don't have an ID. It doesn't look like, and then I don't have published. It doesn't look like. Um, so, I got to figure out something for those. Okay. So, I do have a GUID. Um, so maybe I could use that. 
um, theoretically, and then I have a pub date, uh, so maybe I can use that. Pub date. Okay, so I'm gonna pull those off of my feed items, and then I need to feed those into like the props that are getting sent to this component. So uh, I'll use GUID for that, and then published will be pub date. Is it not broken yet? Okay, ID is not defined. So I, oh, there we go. Again, I need to do that there. Okay. Episode of ID. Okay, so did I do everything? So, uh, good. Okay. So I might need to go deeper. It appears I might, Assumption is that I should just be able to take these fields that I know I have on my item here and then feed them into the kind of like what the component's looking for. Um, I can look, let me see, let's look more at the components. So we have uh, episode. Um, so we have an episode that's gonna use the episode title, audio, okay, okay, okay. Okay, oh, maybe this is somewhere else. Um, let's, so let's look at all the places that are using an ID and check those out. Okay, so this is inside of the episode entry component. So that should have an ID at this point. It should be there for everything inside of this file. Home. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I think we should be good. Do I, what's the... horse pooled. <laughs> it looks so good. You just need a podcast. You know, maybe like, there's, well, maybe you could do a conference too. You, you want to set up a conference? I got one for you. If you're going to do a conference, the horse conf, horse conf. Info product. Pfft, come on. You don't have an info product yet. <laughs> just shame. Shame. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, what happened here? Is serializable? Because okay, so let me actually read the error. That's sometimes that's helpful. So error, uh, error serializing dot episode of zero ID. Oh, okay. So this is the, it's attempting to read the first episode, right? Like that's kind of somewhere. So of zero. Okay. So maybe there's some additional nesting in my feed that wasn't there. Okay, so get static props. Okay. Episodes, and it's giving a map. Okay, but then this is doing, it's doing it on feed items. Okay, so I need to go back into this. This is like, this is like, we haven't even really touched uh, the, the, <laughs> the template part of this. This is just me reading XML. Welcome to my stream where I read XML. Uh, okay, uh, do, 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 do. okay, so RSS, um, Adam, link, p -p -p iTunes summary. Okay. Let's close it all the way down. Close it all the way down. This needs, this needs greater indentation, in my opinion. Um, okay, iTunes summary, that's not it. There's gonna be a, so this is item. Um, is there not items? Is it not nested inside of something? Um, seems interesting. I wonder if that has something to do with what the library is doing. So feed dot items. Okay. So what library are we using to parse this? So where does that parse function come from? Um, parse RSS to JSON. Let's look at that to JSON. Yeah, I think there's a, I, I, Adam, I don't know if you're still here, but uh, yeah, I think one of them's new for sure. I don't, I don't think it's info product. I think it was, did you just do uh, p -p -p pocket? Was that the one that just came out recently? I feel like maybe that was the one. I feel like the other ones were there. Um, okay, so RSS to JSON. What does RSS to JSON do? 
Okay, so parse. Okay, so what is it gonna do? So it is doing the Ethereum block. Okay, it's doing the job of putting it, nesting it inside of this items. Okay, uh, fine. So feed items of zero, which is our problem. Unless I'm reading this wrong, right? So it's like, nice, sick. Frame motion, pocket baby. Okay, um, so it's putting things in items. Okay, it's gonna get, oh, okay. Oh, maybe, uh, do, 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 do. maybe I don't need to do all this because it's trying to do some of that for me. Uh, okay, so maybe it was already doing the ID thing. I'm so confused. Okay, so uh, when I'm confused, what do I need to do? I need to console lock this, I think. So, let's see, what's the best way to uh, do this? So, um, let's make this into a block. Let's return this so now it's not changed just different syntax um, and then I'm gonna console log all this stuff so uh, I add title description um, closures pub date okay I wonder if maybe I have like let's see let's let's actually look at the first item maybe there's a problem with my first item um, no that, that looks good Okay, so let's go back here and see what happens. So unexpected token. Okay, so I screwed something up on my end. I think, a block, return, oh, I didn't close it, there we go. Translation error, it's the same thing. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, so it's console logging all of them. I do have some undefines in there. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so what is the of zero actually doing? So, oh, the of zero. Okay, going back to the error again. If you see it, if you see what I'm missing, don't make me suffer in silence. <laughs> When I suffer, we all suffer. Um, let's see, pocket. Uh, maybe we can console log, log what is coming back from the parse method. Okay, cool. That is a great idea. Thank you, Jacob. So console.log feed. Um, I'm gonna dump that one because that's doing a bunch. Uh, let's see, console log feed. Yep, okay, cool. Um, go to the bottom. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. Okay, so feed, it does seem to be doing stuff. So that's great. Let's do feed.items. Let's get it in a, a little closer. Okay, that's still a lot. So maybe we can do feed.items.length just to make sure that this is indeed an array. <laughs> yes i mean yeah it's i think that's probably fair i'm doing the i'm doing the suffering so you don't have to but i mean like you know we suffer less if we work together towards the solution just a little bit less um undefined cannot be serialized undefined oh oh okay i think it's it might be choking on the fact that there are some episodes that are kind of like with screwy data coming back. Um, let's see, <laughs> it's entertaining to watch me suffer. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, okay, so how would we filter for this? So let it get to undefined cannot be serialized in JSON. Okay, please use null or omit this value. Okay, it doesn't give me a whole lot more information about that specific 
value. So I don't know exactly what to, okay, so what is undefined? Okay, author undefined, ID is undefined, I, oh, okay, 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 okay. So RSS to JSON is having trouble picking up, what my estimation is, RSS to JSON is having trouble picking up the ID from my RSS feed. Um, and as we've identified, this is because, I mean, there is no ID field. It uses, a, it has a GUID. So I need to find a way to give RSS to JSON a way to like, I guess, add, use something as an ID. Let's see. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so we can do that. So let's see, so cost of the uh, feed items um, of zero. Boop, 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 where is it? Um, and then, yeah, so, okay. So the problem is, is that I need to actually like, so yeah, so these IDs are not getting properly placed. So uh, let's go back to, was it in Firefox? Man, this is, now this is getting silly. Okay, so is there a way to kind of specify how we want to, uh, what's the API for this? Can I tell it? how to parse an ID out. Or do I have to? Um, so let's see, so yeah, so, okay. So, okay, so do I have to? So um, let's see, okay, so let's look at this again. So feed out items map. Okay, so we're mapping over each one. I'm just gonna repeat over this until like it, until the solution becomes clear. Okay, so we have, oh, and then I suspect that if I look at that, it it's not pulling out, it's only, RSS to JSON is only set up to actually pull, set up these certain fields. So it's not getting the, Go in. Um, okay, so let's look at what it does have. Okay, so we, we sent out the last one. Uh, so let's look at this. Okay, so. Okay, so we have an ID, we have a title, we have a description, we know all that kind of stuff. The, the ID is undefined though. It doesn't know how to get it from our uh, GUID. Okay, so that's fine. We have a link, uh, author is undefined. We're not using that. Published, okay, so we do have published. So I don't need to kind of do this nonsense that I was doing before. Um, ah. Okay, great. Um, published is great. ID is ID still a problem. Uh, we have content, uh, which may come in handy later. Do, 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 enclosures, um, content encoded. Oh, cool. That's nice. Um, iTunes summary. Okay, so we, and then we have some iTunes prefix stuff. Okay, cool. Problem is ID. So what are we gonna do with this? So we know that we're not getting GUID from that. We also know that we're not getting ID. Well, we're getting ID, but it's undefined. Uh, always, so that is irrelevant to us. So what I need to do here is actually kind of use some kind of function to create an ID. Um, so what do I want this ID to be? Um, I guess let's just find some kind of unique value that we have in here now. Um, I guess publish could work. Uh, that seems kind of like the only thing that is Unique, yeah. Let's do published. Just to just to move forward, just to actually like get into the template, you know. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So ID is going to be published. Actually, I don't. This is redundant here. So do that. Perfect. Okay. Where'd that get us? Where'd it get us? 
Okay, so new uh, error, yep, and then this is just me uh, not understanding what we're doing yet. So that goes to published, um, delete that. Oh! Yes! It only took us 30 minutes. <laughs> I say us. Um, thank you for your help. Thank you for uh, debugging help. Jacob Foster, thank you. Um, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, and then, yeah, we can get to into some strategies for that. I'm kind of curious, like, what? So this is the, um, oh, yeah, so I could, I mean, this is a little bit sketchy, but, like, I could just peel off the number um, that I prefix all these episodes with, and then that could get us, you know, that could be our, like, ID. I'm curious how, what the URL looks like. Okay, cool. So by default, whatever we use as our ID is going to end up being the route that it's directed to. Um, so obviously everything's changeable. It's code, we can do whatever we want, but um, that's the default behavior. So I'll keep that in mind as we kind of navigate this. Okay, so step one is done. We have, it being populated with feed data. So that's super cool. Um, let's go back to our notes. Um, huzzah. Let's see, I'm, I'm gonna put, what do we do? Like this, put an X in there. Is that how that works? Is that how that syntax works? Yeah, something like that. Um, okay, so feed, right. So now we need to see what pieces of data we wanna actually put in here to get it to look the way that we want on this page. Um, that feels like the most critical thing. Yeah, there's like things where it's not using any of my branded stuff right here. I think that's a little bit easier. Um, I wanna see kind of how to get this feed looking right. Only 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> maybe I was reading the docs this time. Yes, Travis knows. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, yeah, so, okay, so, so now we know automatically it's gonna be looking for, it's gonna be using whatever ID we give it as the, um, as Jacob said, the slug. Um, bring that up here for a sec. And yeah, so how can we get this, how can we get this looking nice? How do we kind of opt into, you know, everything looked nice before, now it looks bad. How do we start improving this? Um, okay, so I noticed that there was that content encoded so let's let's make sure that we're on the right page first so did i save this yes um so this is our index we have our home um i suspect that that's going to be loop yeah looping over the epi episode entry um let's see for every episode we have uh uses the id as a key and then provides the whole episode so let's go up to our episode entry component, which is right here. Uh, this receives all of the data that we just kind of formatted, um, and then we can start using it. So let's make sure that a lot of this stuff is hooked up first. So if I hit play on this. This is React Podcast, I'm Chantastic. Perfect, that might be quiet because it's coming through the microphone, not the system, but it, it does indeed work. This is really cool, like this is awesome that like, it already just sets up this persistent. So I assume that if I hit play, music's playing, um, and then I go to navigate to a different episode, sick, still playing. Go back, dope. That's amazing. Adam, if you're still here, props. This is great. Um, love it. Yeah, and it all works, it all works. So so this part uh, seems to have worked no problem. Um, the getting the audio um, from yeah, getting the audio from that enclosure element seems to have done great. Uh, love it, easy. This we need to format a little bit. Hey! <laughs> yes, it's me, Chantastic from the React Podcast. Hello, here I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little bit meta doing doing that whole thing. Um, okay, cool. So let's see, are the date, let's just go top to bottom. So the date, is that working? See, December 20, that date looks correct to me. Yes, those dates are right. Dates, check. Um, this title, okay, so it looks like we're probably merging the ID and the title. Uh, I'm sure that that is probably fine, a fine default for some. My titles actually come with that number baked into it. 
So uh, we just need to find that uh, episode title. Let's see, so where's that happening? So we have the title, container, date, assume it's in this button somewhere, right? Um, Oh, formatted data. Okay, so what's formatted data do? So that's the date, um, episode description. Okay, so I totally skipped over title. Where Where is that? So it's the link episode title. Oh yeah, that's right. We were doing that. That is happening here. Duh. Okay, so I just want this to be title now. And actually, why am I doing that? It can just, you're gone. Don't need any of that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Jacob. Um, okay, cool. So title, cool, perfect. Now we had some encoded stuff. So I'm curious if I can get away with just using a different field um, or if I have to kind of encode this on my own. Uh, let's look at this again and see what we had. Um, okay, so we have a handful of fields. So we have content, let's see what's being used right now. So it's just regular description. Um, description is this, okay. Content looks like the exact same thing. Content encoded also looks like the <laughs> exact same thing. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Simplecast is odd. It's super odd. I'm not really sure what else to say about that. Uh, use transmit. Um, wish I could switch. Um, okay, so I think that I'm gonna have to uh, like actually parcel this. Yikes. Uh, anyone have any recommendations on how I should do that? Uh, totally open to recommendation if there's a library that I should be using. Um, right now, I think, let's just verify that it's just gonna be sent through uh, the way that it is. So we have the description. I don't think that it matters that it's, I mean, I guess I could do, um, let's see, content encoded. Was it content encoded? Nope, I did that wrong. Um, This needs to be reversed up here, right? Man, it's been so long since I've actually coded. Okay. Um, yeah, not making a difference. Uh, it's the same damn thing. There we go. Yes, Jacob. Dangerous, dangerously set inner HTML. You know, sometimes I forget that this is React and I can just do that, that's awesome. Um, yeah, cool. That should be fine. I mean, cause there's no, it's all content. So it's going to be like anchor tags and text elements and whatnot. There's not going to be any, uh, buttons or anything interactive. So I think that's a great idea. Um, let's, uh, jump back up. So episode entry, we're going to go to the description. So we have formatted date. Um, and then we got jump reading code is not my strong suit. Um, Okay, so we're passing it in as children right now. And it, that's interesting. So it's in a paragraph already, but this is pre-formatted. So I might need to just kind of do something completely different with this block. Um, so let's let's try that first. So um, let's see. So what is it? Two underscores, dangerously set inner HTML. And then we do doubles like that. And then is it underscores here too? It's like HTML and then we use description. It was once a time where I could just type that out all super easy, but um, episode description. I definitely didn't get that right.
Duck, duck, go. You suck. Let's see. Using dangerously set inner HTML. Okay, I just need the API. Okay, dangerously set inner HTML underscore underscore data. That looks right. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense that those aren't there, but on the HTML. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I knew there was somewhere. I was getting super eager, wasn't I? Just wanted to put them everywhere. Just sprinkle those uh, those quotes everywhere. Oh, I um, I left a... I left you on blast. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> it's going so well. Okay, cool. Uh, yes. That kind of worked. Yeah, oh, actually. Uh, yes. I think, though, that we need to... Everything is being flattened by Tailwind. Yes, yeah, so this is an H2 element, but we need to use something like uh, Tailwind Pros in order to get this properly formatted. So the, so the elements are there, but we need to figure out how to uh, do them. So is there a pros example in here? Okay, cool. Oh, so it might actually be on that element. Let me uh, not get ahead of myself. Uh, text, no, okay. So uh, let's use, what are some of our options? We have pros, pros slate. Okay, so that seems to be used a couple places. Why don't we try that? Um, so this will be class name. Sick. Okay, cool. Um, it could definitely use some work, uh, but it's starting to come along. And so we can yeah, start adding some of the other classes, I think. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, this is getting there. So what did we get done? We add a new element. We took the kind of encoded HTML. We used uh, dangerously set inner HTML. Thank you, Jacob, uh, for the reminder on that. I appreciate that. And uh, I think everything works. So if I click these, these should just be like regular links. So yeah, so they all just work. Um, that's cool. I don't know. Maybe next is pissed about that, but whatever. It's fine. Um, so this is sitting a little high. Um, also, oh, so this is an H2. What is this? Is that, I mean, I guess that's probably an H2 as well. So this is just kind of, I mean, I probably need to go through and not put H2s inside of the actual markup of the descriptions of these things. Um, that is a, a task for another time. Um, cause yeah, cause we have this pros and then we have this H2 inside of it. Not ideal. Not ideal, not quite thinking that one through. Um, okay, cool. On me, on me, not on, uh, on, on Tailwind. So uh, we can add some classes here. So um, margin top one, that'll give us a little bit of room there. If we wanted to, we could, you know, make it a lot bigger, do whatever we need to do there. Uh, I'll leave it one for now. Um, yeah, and then this is, I think, more... Uh, stuff for this when it's just a paragraph on a big block of text. So I think we can uh, just be done with that. I think that's good. Um, yeah, it doesn't look great, but it it resembles the mess that I created for myself now. And so that's fine. Uh, you don't need to suffer through me just going through every episode and fixing them. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's see. So uh, Jacob says, to be honest, on the index page, you can probably reach for the iTunes summary since it's short and uh, has nothing extra and the episode page show. Pfft. Damn, that's a good idea. Jacob, crushing it, crushing it. It's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, uh, so how would we do this? Let's go look at our data again. And I think you said it, but I just want to kind of show it uh, real quick. So we have... So we have description, content, encoded content. All of these things are really similar, but there should be also a iTunes summary. There we go, right there. 
Okay, so we're gonna grab that. We are going to pull that off. I don't believe that's nested inside of anything. So we can pull that there. You know, actually, now that you've mentioned that, there's also this iTunes episode ID, which I could use. Um, so why don't we pull that off too? Episode, um, I guess it's just iTunes episode. Um, cool. Okay, iTunes episode, iTunes episode summary. So we're gonna change the description to be the iTunes, um, iTunes summary. And then we're gonna change the ID to be the iTunes episode. Oh. Okay, description is no longer needed. So we'll save that. And then hope for the best. Woo, look at that. <laughs> Jacob, that's a good idea. It's a great idea. Thank you. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That already looks a lot better. Um, okay, which so now this page is totally usable. So we have the um, the the titles right. Um, the we have this kind of like nice summary description, which is a way better thing to put on this page. Um, and then uh, show notes, I assume, is going to open the other page. Okay, cool. So this all kind of leads us to. Let me click another episode just to be sure. This is React Podcast. I'm Chantastic. Perfect. Brilliant. Everything works. Um, so let's, I think now we can actually go into the page. Now, when we do this now, I'm using the published date. Oh, no. Oh, no, I changed it. Yes. Okay, cool. So because I changed it, because I did the work of actually changing it here, we get the benefit of now updating the URL. So these slugs are now going to be using the ID, which we pulled from the iTunes episode, which is awesome. So these are kind of, these mimic how React Podcast does it now. Um, so if I go to episode 10, um, and in, in that broken way that it does it now uh, through uh, the Simplecast site with the stupid you know 404s, absolutely infuriating, just criminal, criminal. Um, okay, cool. So those are the URLs that we're using right now. Um, we might be able to kind of futz with those a little bit via next if we wanted to be able to use that as a short URL, but then have a link with the whole title in it. Um, we could do something like that as well. What's up, Ben? Good to see you. Hello, friend. Glad you're here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, <laughs> music drop. Uh, I wonder, interesting, I wonder if I could get trouble in trouble on my own stream because I haven't like connected whatever music service I used for that here. Interesting. Ding, thoughts. Um, okay, cool. So we have the right URL now. So let's go visit this page um, and start adding the other content here because obviously we have 404 here. That's not ideal. Let's figure that out. Also, let's see, what time is it? I think I have a meeting at 11.30 my time, which is in about, you know, I'll probably have to leave in like a half hour. So we're gonna get as far as we can. Hopefully we can get a good description page and then maybe start, you know, doing some of this URL stuff and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so what does this look like? Um, uh, doop, 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 doop. Okay, so. Uh, we have a 404 here. We need to, this is interesting. This looks kind of funny on this page. Oh, probably because it's showing the black through and that's why it's losing a lot of its luster, I suppose. Um, yeah, makes more sense here, but it is interesting. So it's black over here. And then when I click show notes, we go here and now it's white. That is curious. Um, interesting. Unsure. So what happens if I go over here directly? It's really slow. I wonder if that's because I'm uploading or whatnot. Um, 
Okay, well, I can't test it on this page because I um, don't have details. Maybe it has something to do with the styles not loading because there's an error on this page. So let's fix what we know to be wrong and then maybe it'll uh, kind of resolve itself over time. Okay, so uh, we go, we're gonna go into pages. This is our index. We have a number, number of other pages. We have our app JSX, we have our document. Um, these are like the templates for the, the broader document that governs all of the pages. Uh, and then we have episode JSX, which is going to be the page that we're looking at right now. Okay, so let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, so um, as I suspected earlier, each page is fetching its data uniquely. So it's not kind of like building up some type of store and then pulling from that store. So we need to kind of recreate what we did. Um, Adam, if you're still watching, I don't know if it would be beneficial to have some kind of config or something where you could ch put change this in one place, but that could be nice. Um, basically where I'm just importing the URL from a config file. So when I change it now, both of these views get the benefit of that. Um, that might be a nice little touch. Um, let me see if there's a place that we could reasonably do this. So source, um, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna make a site.js file. That's probably stupid. Uh, Nocturne, what's up? Good to see you, friend. Good to see you, glad you're here. Heidi. Just, you know, building, building, uh, building a podcast site with uh, Next.js, Tailwind. That's what's up. Okay, so uh, yeah, so maybe like shared place for feeds. So Rex. Okay, so like what would that look like if we we're gonna do that? So I have the index open here. This is the feed. Um, oops. If I pull that out and I put that into something like site um, export. Uh, I can never remember how to export like just a string. What is it? Export const uh, const site equals, let's call this feed, feed, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, and then I'll go back over here, and then up here we'll say import feed from, so we gotta go back out to site, And then we'll use that down here. It's probably, uh, uh, whoops, feed. That's a terrible, terrible names all around. It's fine. <laughs> I broke it though. Uh, can I access before initializing? Oh, maybe that's why it didn't happen. Um, Let's see, cannot read access before initial. Oh, I got you. I got you. I see what's happening now. Okay, because this is set static prop, so it hasn't, it happens at a different point in the life cycle than all of these like module resolution stuff, I think. Okay, okay. Bummer. Cool. I don't know. If there's a way around that, that'd be sick, but maybe not. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna put it in both places. No big deal. Um, okay, so the ID, remember, we don't have an ID. We used the um, iTunes episode. Okay, so now it's gonna be episode ID, two string. Those are the params. Um, and then it, okay, another place that this could definitely be changed, but uh, we now have a second place in this file where it's also gonna read from that same URL. So three places now that we have to change this URL. Um, so one for get static paths, which is gonna set up all of the URLs um, kind of in the static build of this site. And then another one to actually get the data for the data. Yeah, the data for the, the, the page that's being constructed here. Okay, so let's go back to our page. 
Um, let's see if we get any, any closer. Okay, so we're gonna have to fix that ID thing again. So oop, ID iTunes episode. Uh, description is gonna be, what was it, iTunes? Oh no, this one actually is gonna be the description. Um, You know, and it's funny, now that we just went with the, uh, let's see, what do we have here? I'm remembering now what we had here before uh, for this page. So what did I do? I changed dangerously set in inner HTML, but now that it's just the preview text, we don't actually need to do that. So um, I'm gonna kind of like, do that thing where I undo, copy it, and then paste what was there before. Um, okay. However, that might come in handy on this episode page. So I'm not gonna like let it be kind of too far away. Okay, so iTunes episode description uh, was fine, enclosures published. Okay, all that stuff was fine. It was really just the title that's a problem. The title, Again, uh, we don't need to format it like this with the data that I have uh, might be different for your site. So um, let's save that. We're gonna go in here to our uh, page. Let's see, ID is not defined. Okay, now, but this is on the get static paths, I think, because it's using episode ID to string. Um, so how did we, um, I did it again. I think I flipped the order of these things. Yeah, so we wanna take iTunes episode as the ID. Um, and then uh, again, I flipped it up here as well. Woo, okay. Uh, we are, sorry for the peak there. I just got excited. Um, Okay, so we're getting closer. So we know how to deal with uh, this formatting here. Oh, cool, and there's a lot of extra page formatting, which is really nice. Um, sick, sick, sick. That looks dope. That looks way dope. Okay, so let's get this out of here. So it looks like maybe it's showing twice. So there's already some kind of encoding stuff that's happening. Um, yeah, look, dangerously set in HTML. Um, episode content, very cool. Um, now I think that in my case, the description and the content are the exact same thing. So I don't need to, um, so metadata description, we're doing that. I I don't know if this is a good idea for my specific thing because that description is gonna show up as HTML and that's not ideal. So we probably wanna use the episode summary um, for that. Uh, worth noting. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Episode title, date. Um, where is it? Okay, so this is showing the description. This is the part that we don't want. Um, except, okay, nope, that looks good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, awesome. So this actually works now that it's in the right place. Again, thank you, Jacob. Now that it's in the right place, uh, this is pretty cool because I'm getting this special styling for the H2 specifically. Um, so this page is already styled for that. The H2 makes sense on this page also um, because this, I assume, is the H1. Yes, correct. Um, which is appropriate. So the H1 is episode 123, Cassidy Williams on Dreams and Disasters in 2020. And then the H2s are things like feature... Uh, featuring links, um, etc. This is probably intended to be in H2, but um, is not for, oh, H3, okay. So if you want to have all of these looking the way that they do, it looks like that kind of ends with H2. H2 is kind of the way to opt into that. Um, cool, fair, fine. Fine, fine, it's kind of, and obviously I think there's things that we could do to make all of the H3s look like the H2s, presumably. Um, let's see where that's styled if we wanted to. Okay, cool, yeah, so we have 
pros, pro slate, um, margin top 14. And then we have this thing that's going to be selecting all of the H2s in the pros. This is what I'm assuming. I'm setting the margin top, uh, flex, uh, H2 items, center. Okay, so one of these is gonna be text small. Okay, cool. So that is happening. Uh, let's just... Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that's happening on the H2. I do wish that I could kind of like format this a little bit differently. Maybe I will. Probably not something I'm gonna do right now. But if I wanted to, let's just take the small, like uh, H2 text small. Okay, theoretically, I'm gonna take that. I'm going to append one more thing, say H3 text small. And then that should, I have what people mentioned is the is that size. Okay, if I save this, um, maybe that's text small. Did I do it right? Oh yeah, people mentioned, yeah, people mentioned. And then also these other uh, H3s, the retool and Honey Badger did get smaller. Okay, cool. So that's how we manage that with the that pros uh, config. Um, cool, that goes back. Again, I'll probably just do the work of changing the data to match the layout. Um, but yeah. <laughs> half playing, half playing Rocket League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, you're good, you're good. I mean, it's awesome, everything's awesome. I'm just uh, coming on, slowly coming on to how awesome everything is. Um, okay, so we have, we have this. Again, I'll probably just update the source so that it kind of better matches the kind of default layout instead of configuring the layout. Um, there was really no method to any of the formatting that happened inside of this. So if there's a nice setup here, I'll probably just play to that um, instead of spending a lot of time trying to catch all of the odd cases that I did. Just, I don't know, spend an afternoon and fix it. Um, Okay, I think that's I think that's looking good so far. Uh, Travis, what were you saying? Um, okay, so I also wonder if you had a name conflict with feed um, because you had const feed parse feed. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good call right there. Yeah, you wanna try it again? Why not? We could definitely try it here. So I still have that data in there, right? So. Let's just namespace it, right? So we'll do import star as um, site from uh, site like that, right? So if I star as site, so I'm gonna pull in all the named exports in here. And then if I change this to, and it was get static, no, get static paths, which I thought was maybe the problem was the life cycle of when that function gets called but maybe not, oh my gosh. So this will be site feed now. Okay, so I didn't have a problem there. That's a good catch, Travis, thank you for that. Um, let's see, so other feed was there. Okay, so get static props, same thing for that. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so let's let's try it again. Let's, let's try it again on the, the, the front page. How are you doing on Rocket League, Adam? You crushing today? You the nail or the hammer today? Whoops, okay, so let's go to feed. Okay, site feed. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Travis, I think that you are correct that that didn't work because of a an error on my part trying to name two variables the same thing. So that is incredibly helpful, thank you. So that does mean that if we wanted to 
Um, and Adam, this is probably my only suggestion so far is maybe having some type of shared configuration module that I could just change this feed one time and have it updated in all the places instead of having to change it three times. Um, that would, I think, just make it a lot easier. And then also you could point people to the one file. Um, you know, say like, hey, the site all lives in, you know, source pages and um, the you know, just, just change a couple values in this thing and it's gonna, in, in whatever configuration file you end up on. And um, that'll actually get you most of the way here. Um, cool, yeah, that's that. Uh, okay, cool, so I think, so we got that, we can click on this. Uh, let's actually, let's do that thing again where we this listen and click over here, uh, did it fix the, okay, cool, so that, Whatever error we were seeing before where this turned white was just a function of, I think, that page not loading properly. Um, it seems to be working as intended now. So we're gonna go um, back. And I guess now that we have this file set up with configuration, um, we can probably um, start changing, like adding things to it for various things that are uh, shared across um, the, the, the various layouts. So let's do that. Okay, so I need to see now what kind of metadata I get from, um, so like if we go to this index, so I'm console.logging items, but I wanna see the kind of like top level data that we get. And I could probably find that at the RSS to JSON um, documentation. Okay, so the result is going to have title. So this is gonna be the title of the uh, blog description link, image, uh, category items. Okay, cool, cool, category. Okay, so let's just start with that kind of stuff. So, Where's my say? Okay. First things first for the home page, the title. It can be static, but maybe we'll get it from here. So the home page takes episodes. Okay, so that's interesting. So we're loading episodes in. So if we want to get any of the data that's actually coming, if we want to get any of the broader data for this page from RSS to JSON, we're going to have to pull that off as well. Okay, so we have, we're feeding in episodes, but we can also feed in title, will be feed.title. Um, actually, let's just do this. Oh, title and come across. Okay, so uh, title, description. Um, B description link. Um, dot link you dot image categories okay I think that's all set up let's do this okay so now that we so those are the get stack props we're gonna take the episode on the home page so can I now use title, did we get that? No, can't find title, oh, because I didn't pull it off. Title, pull it off is an unfortunate thing for me to say, I think. Uh, home, so title, so this is in the, oh, okay, so this is in the head, so I wouldn't be seeing that. We will want to change that but what I'm curious what I want to see is in the container um, interesting so 
the title for the site is not in the home page, but in the layout. Okay, that's fair. But that means Okay, so let's let's uh, navigate this. So probably not the document because that's going to be yeah, very kind of a high level. Um, so not there, but it's going to be in the app. Um, so app is uh, pulling the audio player and then the layout file. So where is this layout file coming from? Uh, layout right here. So layout, if I jump down here, is going to also have a... I assume, um, so waveforms, recast. Okay, so all of this configuration lives inside of this layout file. Okay, just means that kind of, unless I wanna fetch data again at the layout file level, which I don't, um, it just means that I have to kind of configure it by hand, which is fine. Yeah, it is, uh, sorry, Jacob. Yeah, it is happening over an app. Um, okay, that's fine. Again, just kind of like knowing this is helpful, um, but it just means that it's kind of like an area where I wouldn't be able to necessarily make it um, dynamic from the attributes in the feed. Again, not a problem, just something, just information. Okay, what time is it? 16? Yeah, probably got like another five minutes. We can do this. So, so we've identified that it's in the app um, now. Uh, so let's change as much of this as we can. So we have hosts. Um, I feel like we could probably like, so, so where does this? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna see, so this is the whole layout. Obviously that's gonna be sharing different components. So let's just go like uh, top to bottom. I think that, that hosted by is probably gonna be the first thing that we see hosted by okay so hosted by okay so there's a lot of stuff happening on here okay so it's using an array which um cool maybe we could probably put that array inside of our config file so we'll just do um, export const hosts and um see go and close that uh close yep um, so put that array there and then if hosts will be site hosts and then at the top import star as site from our site file Okay, so now that should be connected to our config file. So if I change this, delete that and use Chantastic. Boom. Okay, cool. Now, did is that data being used in the other layouts or not? Or the other parts of this? Okay, so we fixed it there. Um, and then it updates to very nicely, uh, I might add, to not have the delimiter, um, which I think I, I saw in passing some code for that. Yeah. So I'll just use the one, the one, I'll not put the delimiter if there's not more than one host, which is cool. Um, let's go into this featuring. So we go to the bottom. Okay, cool. So host by Chantastic. Okay, cause so, so I don't have to fix that anywhere else. That's very nice. Um, cool. So and then we have that in our config file. Let's see. Um, whoops. Sorry, trying to get down to the comments. Okay. So. Okay. So Jacob says um, app can have a, have get static props. I think though it might be discouraged. Uh, if that's the case, you can update the layout to receive props from app um, that it can receive from. Okay. Gotcha. I'd love to see if you have to have a doc on that. I'd love to see it. Um, Cause I know that there's some mechanism for communicating that. 
Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm by no means an expert. So if there's like a recommended path for doing that, I'd be happy. I, I would love to know that actually, because it would be really nice to just fetch the data on the specific pages, but then kind of like feed that to the layout instead of having to fetch it twice, um, once for the layout and then once for the page. Um, especially since, you know, we're also fetching it again for the get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't need, I don't need to struggle through saying it. Okay. What we got? Yeah. A couple more minutes, a couple more minutes. Um, so let's see. So we were working on the layout. Let's get back to the layout. So we fixed the hosted. We put that inside of our config. Uh, what are we going to do next? Um, about section. Now this about section is here and it looks like it gets removed entirely. Oh no. It's at the bottom here. Okay, cool. Um, so it is in both layouts. It just moves. So let's get this description in here. Um, or actually, let's get the feed in here because I think that's probably the next most important thing. Obviously, we've got to change the image, but I think the feed is probably like a really important thing. So what does it look like? right now do i just need to get all of those spotify icon um spotify spotify icon where is the actual url so link aria label okay Sorry, what you what you saying? React Corey. <laughs> See, so hold on the initial fetch and initialize on the page since it's cached. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds fair. I haven't used uh, React Corey with uh, Next, so I don't know where that kind of handoff is. Um, oh, that's a really good question. Uh, yeah, remix could be interesting. Um, I mean, I guess the the answer, I mean, I, I'm not going to answer for Adam, but I suspect the answer is like, you know, if you have a license, you can, you know, do whatever you want with it. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I would be interested to see a remix version of it. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to Actually, that's a really good question on like if you would be able to distribute it, but then just require that someone have a license to use it. Like in this case, I'm, I think I can put this on my, publicly on my GitHub because it clearly says that I need a license in the source, wherever it is in the readme. Uh, I think that it's probably in here as well. Yeah, Tailwind UI license. Um, and so I have a license, so I can prove that I have a license, so we're good to go. Um, but yeah. Curious, curious. Licensing is so confusing on all this stuff. Um, okay, I still, I just wanna find where the links are. So we have a link for this, but wh where is it actually getting data? Um, so link, hro, oh, so all these are just, got it. N nowhere, because there is no data for it yet. So I would probably just augment this and then provide the link. So in this case, um, Do the same thing over and over again. I wonder if this wouldn't be a more like a better default personally. Um, Cause you know, while this is terse, like uh, if I'm doing this, like everybody's gonna have to do the same thing if they do do links, um, you know. So label icon, uh, where's that URL, I guess, I don't know. URL. Yeah, unfortunately, can't let other people read. Okay, let's see. Adam, unfortunately, can't let other people uh, redistribute ports, even if only to people who can prove they have a license. Yeah, it's a really sticky situation. It's kind of a, I don't know, a bummer. 
But yeah. But I mean, building it on your own, you know, build it on stream could be cool. I'd love to love to 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 learn from you. Um, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, um, cool. Yeah, so uh, basically we're gonna have to do that, add the URL, um, and then I think at this point, so like if I wanted to go get my Spotify URL, I'd probably do like React Podcast, uh, Spotify, find it, and then presumably there's like a feed URL on here somewhere. Um, I have no idea. I'm sure I could figure it out if I like, uh, follow, share, copy, show a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sure there's an easy way to find uh, find this kind of stuff. Um, I won't make you suffer through that um, during this case. Um, yeah, so let's see. What does Adam say? I'm gonna probably wrap up here in just a second. Um, let's see, uh, we might add versions for different frameworks. Um, right now kind of waiting to see how much maintenance is involved. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it definitely seems like the type of thing where using a framework is really important, right? Because th this implementation that you have here of being able to play on um, like across pages is gonna be implemented differently across all of these things. So it's not just like kind of like, oh, we made a bunch of Tailwind components and they kind of composed up into this thing. Like all this stuff is incredibly different across frameworks. And so like that does really become like a big, a big hassle. I mean, I don't know if I would necessarily choose like next, but also like I'm gonna to touch this like never <laughs> once it gets uh, put online <laughs> as evidenced by the site that's up there now. They're just like static, uh, the, the base template one that they give me from a uh, stupid simple cast. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, this was super fun. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap up. I think that we got, we got it mostly working. And so uh, there's a, there's a handful of tasks that are a little bit more um, like menial at this point, but I think that we explored a lot of what you need to do in order to actually like change uh, this to make it fit for your site. Um, and so I think that, I think we're good. I think we're good. We got it, we got it all working. This is totally functional apart from the fact that I'm, you know, don't have URLs, don't have my description in here. All that's gonna be changed in the layout. So we know that it's really just the task of doing it at this point, uh, which is not super interesting uh, for, to, to, to close the stream on. So I got a meeting coming up, so I'm just gonna end it now, but I just wanna thank you for being here. Um, Adam, also, thank you for being here. I hope that, uh, this affirmed how awesome this is and then maybe had like, you know, showed a couple ways that we might be able to improve this, you know, template for just being able to kind of like plug in right away. Um, honestly, most of this was just like struggling with the RSS to JSON interpreting simple cast feed. So I don't know, is what it is. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, thanks everyone for being here. Appreciate you, you're awesome. Have an awesome weekend. Uh, you're all great. Uh, I appreciate you helping me walk through this. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll actually commit some time to d finishing this up and then make a killer, you know, have the React podcast site not suck. It'll be awesome. And with very little effort. <laughs> so anyway, uh, love you nerds. See you later. Bye. Finish and